when a whore, a beta, and a Satanist are the top candidates for men of the year, it's clear men have hit rock bottom. It's equally clear that controllers of the zeitgeist are in the final stages of ending the patriarchy. Men are laughing stocks, too weak to offer any real pushback. The culture depicts white men as buffoons and bigots and black men as effeminate and immoral. Marvel churns out bad superhero movies featuring women. Every television show features a woman or a gay person as the most courageous, ethical, and smartest person in the room. A chubby, 50-year-old gay rapper, Queen Latifah, jumps off balconies and thwarts the bad guys every Sunday night on The Equalizer. This stuff isn't harmless. It's brainwashing intended to produce the feminist cult and distort biblical truth. This guy, Jason Whitlock, constantly gets crapped on by black people for not being for being a sellout because he won't succumb to the niggotry of the quote unquote black culture because he speaks out against the degenerate behavior and bad behavior and lack of moral character in the black community and they call him out I don't know what when at what time did we deviate so far of course that what's moralistic what's right what's just is being seen by us as not black so you have to speak a certain way use certain derogatory terminologies in your in your words dress a certain way behave in an outrageous manner for people to look at you and be like yeah yeah that that's no that's g that that's a black man right there those are the kind of bad behavior jason wheatlaw calls out and he constantly gets berated by low-level black people he talks about the state of the black community how we should try and get the man back in the back in the family and how young black men need a strong male role model. How are these things offensive to black people? Tell me. Somehow we've been brainwashed as a people that if there's someone calling us out on our nonsense because they're trying to use tough love to let us wake up and start getting our stuff back in order, we have to come down hard on that person. And of course, like me, when people say, don't listen to this guy, he's a sellout, he's a coon, or whatever, I go and listen, so I can judge for myself, because I'm not a sheep. And listening to this guy, and I'm like, yo, it's exactly what I've been saying myself, <laughs> like, the whole time. This guy is speaking my language. The West, as a society in general, is at a steady downtrend. Downtrend. They're trying to bring down the patriarchy. But what they don't understand is nations are built by patriarchs, but they're built on the patriarchy. It takes two people, two. It takes teamwork to build a society, the man and the woman, but they've got roles. Women birth communities, women birth civilization. That's what women do that. Women nurture and birth civilizations. Men build civilizations. But they're trying to reverse the roles right now because of the new era we're, we're in. We're, we're not coming into it. We're already in to it. It's a veneration of the divine feminine era. That's what we're in right now. If you understand what I'm saying, you understand. If you know, you know. I can't go and start explaining all this deep. We're in the veneration of the of Ishtar, Inanya, Semiramis, Columba. You know, like Columbia pictures, the goddess Columba that holds the light, the, the bringer of knowledge that illuminates your pineal. That's the era we're in. So everything you're going to see from the West is going to be feminine oriented. It's going to be feminine oriented. That's all right now in the West. Everything's about, your, it's all about your feelings. Don't hurt this person's feelings. Don't say this. Don't say that. Cause that might hurt people's feelings or whatever. 
censor words, censor what people can say, censor what people can can do, can what website they can. It's all about control. At the end of the day, it's the end goal is to destroy this community so they can ship all the resources to that little country over there in the Middle East, that little fort, that little army base over there, masquerading as a country. So if if you know what where the <laughs> I'm not going to say, I, I'm, I've said enough, man. I'm trying to get myself bad. But he's making sense. Dude is making sense. 